Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 1st of June for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. I'd also like to tell you about a, a new development. Over the last month on YouTube, I've been doing a daily astrology and spirituality show with my wife. This is proving great fun, really popular. You can get your free daily horoscope there every single day. But also, I explain a, a flavour of what the stars hold for that particular day in general. And at least it gives a more spiritual perspective and it would be great to have you along. So please see the link beneath this video. Now this week is a lot about relationships because the Sun is combining with Venus. Venus continues to rotate backwards, so that's asking us to be a bit more introspective. Now obviously the sign of Gemini that they're both in is a quick moving, fleeting, uh, kind of ch chatty, flirty uh, connection. And I think we're generally seeing a bit more of an opening up going on from the lockdown, which everyone is feeling quite relieved about. But I think there are some cautionary notes because Mars, the planet of drive, but also of impulse, is hidden away in the 12th zodiac sign of Pisces and is squaring up to both the Sun and Venus for pretty well the whole of this week. So something could get blurted out this week inadvertently Perhaps a love secret will be revealed. Perhaps a secret admirer will come to the fore. And of course, we also have a lunar eclipse, which emerges on Friday in the sign of Sagittarius. But that's also going to be feeding into the right angle that the Sun and Venus have with uh, Mars. So it's an interesting eclipse, this, and it's going to provide uh, a backdrop of energy for the next six months suggesting that there can be revelations. And these revelations are going to pick up next week, the second week of June, as uh, Neptune merges with Mars and the potential for some stories to leak out into the open, certainly around public figures, I think is definitely going to be heightened. But this week also sees Mercury in the sign of Cancer. What does that mean? What well, Mercury is about thinking, it's about our memory, it's also about our intellect, it's also about our desire to express ourselves. And in the sign of Cancer, which is cardinal, a leadership sign, it can give us an impulse to think about how we can structure our lives to protect our situation, because Cancer energy is governed by the Moon. And it's also linking very positively with Uranus. So if we can be innovative, but particularly around our home spaces, I think that can be helpful. But it also has to be said that Mercury in Cancer is perhaps not its easiest transit because of the emotion of the Moon. The logic of Mercury is in some ways weakened. But if you do want to write anything that's sharing your feelings, particularly around a relationship or some poetry, or you're involved in writing some kind of document that is uh, linked to management in some way, particularly management of people, I think you could do so with a plum. But in general this week, I think we have to be aware that there is the potential for a lot of thinking, a lot of chatting around relationships, but there can be some surprises threaded into this too. Your specific forecast, Aquarius, shows a wonderful connection still between the Sun and Venus in your sector of romance. What's not to like? Okay, Venus is retrograde. But that just asks you to really invest more of your heart, to open up to the possibility that warmth and love can bring into your situation. Not easy for us detached Aquarians. And then Mars is in the second solar house, clashing with the Sun and Venus. So that can bring a bit more of an impulse. If you're lucky enough to be able to go on a date, it could be that you will be much more spontaneous, much more outgoing. But it could also be that it doesn't quite work out because there could be a tendency to try too hard. All we can always do is be ourselves. But when it comes to 
being a bit more creative around your daily routines, particularly at home, doing something that's completely different can actually work out brilliantly well. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to ascend beyond your zodiac sign and embrace real astrology, please see the link beneath this video for my personal astrology reports, which are very affordable. There is an offer for 30% off, which will give you huge insights into what really makes you tick and also your prospects for the next year. Or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one with me. And if you want to find out what I'm about, please see the testimonials beneath this video. But for now, do take care, stay safe and goodbye.